Hey y'all, today you're gonna make a summer squash and onion omelet. Being able to cook the veggies and the eggs at the same time will significantly cut down on your cooking time, which is great. And here's a little trick about the omelet. You actually don't have to flip it at all for it to cook fully. You just have to have a little patience and it'll cook through. Actually having that patience will mean that you don't have to watch it as closely. And it also means that you won't necessarily or run the risk of tearing the omelet when you flip it over. Let's get cooking. First, you're gonna heat a little oil over medium heat in actually two pans. One small saute pan and one larger skillet. I used olive oil, but of course you can use avocado oil or even coconut oil if you'd like. Though I'm not entirely sure how coconut oil would taste, but you never know, it's your choice. When the oil is hot in the smaller pan, you're gonna add your onions. You're gonna let them cook for at least five minutes. Of course, it's always to your liking, but at least five minutes. While the onions are cooking, go ahead and check the oil in the larger pan. When that oil is hot, go ahead and roll it around the pan so that it coats the whole bottom of the pan and goes up a little bit on the sides. That is gonna help keep the eggs from sticking to the pan, that oil layer. Then you're gonna add your whisked eggs to the larger pan and let them cook. Again, being patient, let them do their thing. They're gonna take about five to 10 minutes to fully set. Fully set means that they're not runny at all in the middle. While the eggs are cooking and after the onions are done to your liking, Add the squash with a pinch of salt and some pepper. Saute with the onions for 10 minutes. You want the squash to get soft. While the veggies are cooking together, check your eggs. When the eggs are set, turn the heat off, run a spatula around the outside of the egg, edge of the eggs, and then under the eggs to loosen it up from the pan. When the squash and onions are done, place the mixture on one side of the eggs, fold the eggs over, and slide it all onto a, onto a plate. Let's eat.